Kevin, it's game 16, tomorrow halfway through the season. What you've got is what you've got. Uh, what gives you cause for confidence? What gives you cause for concern heading into the second half of the season? I, I like the way these guys are practicing. I, I like their attitude. Um, they've been working hard, and they've had a great, great attitude. You've been at this thing for a long time. You, there have been a lot of elephants in the room, you know, in your coaching career, whether it's been, you know, at Seton Hall or pre, you know, previously. How have you dealt with the way this team is shooting the three? How, how do you get past that? How do you get it so where it's not the constant narrative? There's nothing I can do about a constant narrative. Yeah. Michigan in the house tomorrow. Doug McDaniel, what does he do that concerns you guys heading into tomorrow night's tilt? And Michigan scores the ball extremely well. They shoot the basketball from four spots. Uh, Doug is a dynamic player both offensively and defensively. Um, I think the, the biggest thing with them is, is how well they shoot the basketball. Kevin, with the way the season has unfolded, have you had to temper your expectations? No. Can I ask, your belief in this team, does it just come from what you've seen from the players themselves or just your faith in them? And I, I just, every day in practice, they brought a great attitude and a great work ethic. You know, we've, we've struggled at times, but they've brought a great attitude and they continue to work great every day. So that's where I get my belief from. Getting to this point, um, has it been frustrating for you in any way? No. And then um, I believe last year you guys also went one and three in the Big Ten. Then you went, I think, 10 and six the rest of the way. Um, do you feel like this team could maybe repeat that process again this year? I, I mean, I, I think our goal is to obviously start playing a little bit better. Um, I thought we took a good step on the road the other day. Um, I was really proud of the, of the way our freshmen played on the road, you know, considering the fact they had Jonathan hadn't played a lot of minutes. He went out there and did a great job. Uh, I thought that was Jamie Kaiser's best game of the year. Um, I think Deshaun is starting to show uh, really good improvements in the area that I need him to improve in. So, yeah, I, I have a lot of confidence in this team. Uh, Kevin, you talked a bit about Michigan already, but they look a bit different with, uh, than last year with the uh, departures of uh, Hunter, Kobe, and, and Jet. Just what different challenges do they kind of possess this year, and what are the differences in kind of preparing for this year's Michigan team compared to last year? They're still posting up just as much, just not obviously just not Hunter. Um, I'm going to mess up the young man's names, so I'm not going to say his last name. But number 13 is, is really – changed where they didn't post up so much at the four spot last year they're posting much more at the four spot um, and I think they're a little bit more pick and roll heavy than they were last year just because of not having Hunter um, and Doug being a little bit older uh, but I also think they shoot the basketball much more uh, much better I mean they're they're only 13 14 points away from really having a, a pretty good season so they've they've played an unbelievably tough schedule um, they score the basketball uh, they just they've, – they've had some tough losses. Coach, uh, are you able to give any update on Jahari Long, obviously not being able to He's play? He's questionable. He's questionable. And then um, with, with Jonathan Lamoth getting a little bit of more run time, is that something that you see him kind of filling into, maybe a larger role? As yeah, Jonathan has – you know, Jonathan's the typical freshman. He's, he's stayed with a great attitude. He's worked hard. He's, he's really been good in practice, and, you know, he's earned his minutes in practice. And I know last year you were saying you look at – Bracketology, Ken Palm, those kind of things, projections like that. Um, have you had an opportunity to look at some of those this year? And if so, what do you think this next stretch, you know, means for this team in terms of getting to where you want to be in terms of postseason at the end of the year? No, I've tried to stay away from Ken Palm, just because our offensive numbers are uh, so beautiful. Our defensive numbers are really good, so maybe I, I just I just look at the Ken Palm defensive numbers right now. I'm trying to be picky. Coach, what do you like best about the way the team is playing defensively, uh, especially with, with some of these road games where they've gone into hostile environments and, and really put it down? I, I like the fact that we're still the number one ranked defensive team in the Big Ten, and we're, we've struggled to score. So we've played a lot of transition defense. So the fact that we're, we haven't been able to press, we haven't been able to set up our defense as much as we probably would like to, the fact that we've continued to make it hard for teams to score uh, I think is something I'm, I'm really excited that if we can ever start scoring on a consistent basis and you add both those together, 
that'd be really good for us. How exciting is it for you to play these, especially like a road game in Minnesota, and see the, especially the freshmen, get the time they get, and then be able to have them come back here, get into practice, and then have a home game as those games build up? No, I, I, that could be my answer. To be honest with you, I mean, it was we had three freshmen and a sophomore out there for six minutes, and uh, although the the lead went down, um, they did a lot of good things out there. They made the right rotations, um, they made some good passes. We missed some shots. Uh, they ran everything the right way. Defensively, they had a couple breakdowns, but out of eight minutes, they had two breakdowns. They gave them two threes, but for the most part, I was really happy at the way Jonathan played. I thought Jamie Kaiser is played his best game he's played all year by far. Uh, and again, Deshaun, for his expectations, um, it, although he struggled a little bit offensively, he's starting to make some really good strides that I see every day on film. And how do you like how they've been rising to the occasion and the challenge of playing against what is turning out to be an older player this year, that phenomenon that they're up against? Yeah, it's, I talked about this a little bit the other night, was it's a little unfair for them because it's not your typical freshman class going against a typical junior, sophomore, or senior class. They're going up against sometimes fifth-year, sometimes six-year guys. Um, and I think they are progressing. I, I'm as excited about those three freshmen as I was when they first came. They, they have a great attitude. They're practicing hard. They're getting better. Um, but they're just going through it a little bit. And I'm okay with them going through it because they come back with practice with a great attitude. They watch film. They're trying to learn. And that's all I can ask for them. And that's something that's going on across the board with freshmen this, this season? I think we're down to 15 kids, 15 freshmen across that are in double digits in the, in the country. I think it's down to 15. It was 16 the other night, and I think one of them had a bad night. So 15 total freshmen are averaging double figures. So, you know, again, it's, it's, it's a little bit different this year. Um, next year might reset a little bit because I think we – I think no. I think next year is the last year of the of the, of the COVID. So even next year is probably going to be a little bit difficult for some guys. But once that resets, and I think everyone can reset their expectations on freshmen. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, after last game, you kind of mentioned potentially tinkering with the starting lineup or rotations. Just at this point in the season, having so many played so many regular season games, but only having a limited number of looks in, in conference play. What's kind of the process of making those decisions, and is that something we could potentially see tomorrow? Half it's injuries, half it has been illness. So ever since we've got back from UCLA, we've unfortunately had uh, two injuries and four guys sick. So that's part of the reason maybe the tinkering is more or less the amount of practice time certain guys have been able to get because of illness. Kevin, at this point, do you start to consider what it's going to take for this team to – you know, get perhaps an NCAA tournament eligible? I just stay in focus right now on Michigan. I mean, again, this is – it's a new team every year, and right now just getting them focused to, on Michigan. That's the only thing you could really do right now. Jameer said that, you know, obviously in a Big Ten, every game's important. Does that make tomorrow night perhaps a must-win situation? I, I think we're, we're at that point where every game's really important. Uh, we talked a little bit about Michigan. Obviously, college basketball has always had turnover, but but nowadays is it a little bit more difficult maybe to prepare for teams, knowing just the year-to-year -year differences in terms of you know who's on the roster? No, I mean no. They've played 15 games, so you know we've watched the last five. So when you prepare for them, you know you kind of just go off the way this team, the way they're playing now. So um, you know they're playing much differently than they did last year, obviously without Hunter. So you kind of watch their last five games, and then you kind of prepare that way. So it doesn't really matter who's on their roster. It's the great thing about nowadays, you get so much film on teams that you can watch the film and prepare for how they're, and really how they're playing now compared to how they were playing maybe 10 games ago, because everyone kind of changes a little bit as the season progresses. Thanks, everybody.